There was once a girl named Mary, and she was very pretty. She had black hair, and she had pretty luscious lips, and her eyes were blue. I think she had short hair, and she was short. She has long hair. She probably had, like, uh, brown hair. White and, like, tealish blue. She was engaged to a boy named Joseph. She lived in a place called Nazareth in a tiny house. I think she was maybe cooking. Like chores, helping, going outside and getting our crops, I think. Yeah, like, probably. She was sleeping last night. Angel appeared to her, telling her that she's gonna have a newborn son. He has white, beautiful wings. Gabriel had brownish, yellowish hair. He said, fear not. Like, and Mary, like, when she first saw him, she was like, she went like, like, who is this? He said, Mary, that you will have a son named Jesus. I like, I think she was a little surprised that she was gonna have a baby at this young age. I think she was like 21 or something. But the angel said, um, you have been, you have, you, you can do this because the Holy Spirit has allowed you, kind of. She was scared. Joseph was Jesus's father. He was a carpenter. I think Joseph might have been a farmer. He has pretty big hair. He wore a green robe. He had a walking stick. He was in love with Mary. When he was sleeping, he had a dream, and the angel told um, Joseph that Mary had a baby named Jesus. Joseph found out because Mary had a stomach that was slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger. He was scared. The same angel said, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's okay for that because the Holy Spirit uh, helped. Like the Holy Spirit uh, made it possible. They have to travel to Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Oh. It is very far. They saw the sign that said Bethlehem two miles, three miles, I mean, 20 or more. It was uh, like over a hundred miles. But Joseph yeah. walked and held a donkey with, while well, Mary sat on the donkey because of how exhausted she was because she was pregnant. Like, she was like, I need to rest. I can't walk this far. There was no hotels. So the problem is that there was, um, no place for Mary and Joseph. They knocked on people's doors, but some people said no. They went to someone's house, but then the person said that his house was stolen. So the person said that they could go in the barn. I think like it was like red with a barn, like a barn, but it was like covered in hay with like cats, dogs, cows, sheep, and other things. It probably smelled really bad. There was like a sign that said, Banyard, put your animals here, maybe. It was quiet. So the sheep, the shepherds were watching the sheep. While they were watching the sheep, they, they saw a big star in the sky and then Millions of angels came to tell them that baby Jesus was born. A stairway comes down from the sky and angels come down singing. They're singing like, the Lord has been born. They're like, wow, wow, wow. Scared out of the woods. And it said, here it, here is the way you know you have found him. You will see a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. They immediately said, hey, let's go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. Okay, so those people were the three wise men. 
or more three or more because we don't actually know how many the three wise men read or more read the scripture and said hey there will be the savior born in the born and there will be a star above it so we should probably go to the star they were riding on donkeys and i think they were the king's servants when they got there they bring they bought gold they bought Spice and they bought perfume, and that's all I know. Gold, gold perfume, and spices. A balloon, and then once they find the baby, um, and they see him for his own eyes, they spread the good news to the whole village, and then. When Mary get, it wants to get some rest, there's like a whole crowd like, who is it true? Is there actually a baby? And like, and she's like, I need rest. Please go. Like, 